half past six and we're currently sailing into Olden. The ship doesn't actually dock in Olden until about nine. But I recommend getting up early, even if it's just for half an hour or so and going back to bed so you can see these beautiful views that I'm about to show you. Last night I bought myself a nice little piano bathrobe so I can sit out in the cold and be all nice and cosy and warm. and it takes you straight there. Just to note that you're still able to see the views from the TV and an inside cabin. We've just had a lovely breakfast in the Keys and we've just come out onto the promenade deck on the other side of the ship to check out these views. So that's a sky lift right at the top up there. I'll just put a little circle around it. And you can just see the cable car going back down. Back here is for people that have pre-booked their tickets and we haven't done that. So we'll just be going up to the counter in that white building and purchasing them there. But before the skylift, we've decided to take a land train and you just walk across to the land train and get your ticket from someone in a green jacket. The train ride was a 70 minute round trip from the cruise ship and it cost about £46 for two adults. Don't panic that you can't see anything to begin with as there are two places where the train stops for 15 minutes for you to get off and take photos and have a look around. The train also stops at some shops so you could get off and walk back from there if you wanted to. We did this and it took about 10 minutes to walk back. We are now going to buy our Skylift tickets so this is where you disembark from the ship and this is where we're going to buy them from. She said we have to show these to the bus driver and then get us on the sky lift and back down again and then show them to the bus driver on the way back. We missed the blue one so apparently we can get the yellow one.
We've arrived and the queue is looking fairly long. We've just got into the building and that took about an hour. two hours for two sledges and this cost about £31. Currently, dragon sledge up a mountain. <laughs> oh, <that gets> <laughs> See you at the top. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Mark. They've also got this cute little igloo thing. Let's go and have a look. We've had a good couple of hours at the top of the sky lift and we've just waited 20 minutes in the queue to come back down again.
are now back on board and having lunch in Tay360. Lunch round two, because why not? You've already paid for it. Hello, we are back in our cabin. It is almost time for sail away from Alden. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about some of the things that we did today. We've had such a nice day, the weather's been so good. We didn't actually book anything in advance. We booked it all ourselves and booked them from kiosks as soon as you get off the ship. They're about 20 metres from the gangway. First of all, we went on the train ride and that took about an hour and 10 minutes and it did a round trip um, and it did two stops for photo opportunities. Next, we did the sky lift. That cost £122 for two people which is really good because I think it's about £80 each if you book it with the cruise company. There's a bus that takes you from right outside, it's about a 5-10 minute trip and then it takes you back again from the Skylift. Just one thing to remember that because you're not booking the excursion with the cruise company you're not guaranteed to get back to the ship in time, you have to make sure you get back to the ship in time by yourself. So that is one of the perks of booking with the cruise companies that the ship will never leave without you. When we got back on the ship, we went up to the Sky Dome and had, well, what didn't we have? <laughs> we had pizza, burgers, hot dogs, chips, you name it. I think we tried everything that was there, but it was really good. And it is now almost time for sail away and they have a sail away party from Alden. Um, but there's a lot of loud music playing outside, so I'm gonna show you that. As you can see, there's quite a few people out here. Oh, they night. If you want this view from your balcony, then you'll need to book a cabin on the starboard side of the ship. I really wish I could show you these videos with the original music playing. However, I think for legal reasons I'm not allowed to, so unfortunately I'm going to have to put other music over the top. Sorry! having a very quick dinner in the buffet tonight and as you can see it's a very random put together of different foods and we've got a lovely view to go with it through the rain stained window now we've eaten dinner we're just going to chill and enjoy the view watching part three of my Norwegian Fjords vlog series. Please like and subscribe and head over to my Instagram Travel Life with Lucy for more content. Stay tuned to see what we get up to in Olesund. Bye!